going to show you how to um, get the winch cable released. You simply pull this knob out all the way there, then you can retract it okay. Well, there must be a way to keep it out. There we go. I think I've got it. There we go. Then you can just push it back in and it'll uh, recut, retract in. It turns out our winch cable is too short by about six to eight feet. So that totally defeats the purpose of having no winch at all. We don't want our airplane club members to try to get the airplane absolutely as close as they can to the hangar because they may scrape the edge of the wing on the hangar door. Instead, we need to get a stout line with a carabiner on each end so we can connect it to the cable and then also to the back of the plane. Begin winching the plane back without having to exert that superhuman effort to get the plane moving up a slight incline into the hangar. So now we've got a problem where the plane is all the way inside the hangar, but the uh, winch uh, drew most of the coils on one side, probably because I wasn't quite properly lined up. And then I tried to pull out this knob and the, the cap just came off. And uh, now I'm having a hard time pulling this thing out in order to release tension so I can back some line off the winch and be able to disconnect the, the line there. I tried pliers, I've tried a screwdriver, and uh, I'm going to keep on trying it. But a uh, little note to self, don't pull it all the way in against the blocks. You need to leave it maybe a foot off so you can disengage the hook and uh, be able to um, continue to operate the winch. So I blew it. More later. So I reversed the polarity on this uh, gadget in order to try to get this thing to retract, hoping that since it's a DC motor, it'll um, just do that. So we'll see what happens. Oh, brilliant. Uh-oh, got a rat's nest or bird's nest there. I had my share of problems trying to figure out how to release the winch spool to unwind the cable. It's nice if you have the extend function operating on the remote, and for some reason we don't. It takes way too long to extend the entire length of the cable using that button, but for the six inches of slack you need just to disconnect the hook when you're done, it's imperative. Leaving the plane six inches away from the chucks means you have to push it back the last six inches to get slack for disconnect. Trying to release a spool lock under that much tension with the wheels firmly against the chocks, I pulled the cap off, making it about impossible to release. Reversing the red and black electrical cables on the winch made the winch operate in reverse, solving the problem. The next pilot trying to get the airplane out of the hangar would have had a challenge since it was effectively in lockdown. I hope you found this video helpful. Take care, and here's to clear skies and tailwinds.